This is Shimbashi, a neighborhood in Tokyo that is one of Japan's busiest bar districts. It's always bustling at night. Hello, I'm Dora Tozan from France. Bonjour, everybody. I'm now in Tokyo and look around. There are many bars and I'm looking for the best place to drink, to have a nice drink. Our guide is Dora Tozan, a globe-trotting journalist. She is also a wine expert who teaches at a school that trains sommelier. Here in Shimbashi, will she find a drink to suit her taste? Hello! Bonsoir! Hello! Mm, nice place! <laughs> a stand-up bar. A great place to stroll up and have a drink. People seem to enjoy it here very much, I think. Let's see what they are drinking. Hello. Hello. <laughs> what are you drinking? Shochu. Shochu. Shochu? What kind of drink is that? Some affable customers treat Dora to a glass of shochu. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Mm, very good, but very strong. Mm, thank you. Everybody here seems to be so familiar with this drink. I'd like to know more about shochu. This program is made possible by Japan Sake and Shochu Makers Association. Shochu and Awamori. This kind of distilled spirits has been produced for more than 500 years. It preserves the aromas and flavors of its raw ingredients. There are said to be more than 5,000 different kinds of shochu, and shochu is very popular in Japan about as popular as sake. Many ways to drink it, goes well with food, no hangover. Dora wants to order shochu for herself. I don't know which one to choose, which one to order. Dora knows all there is to know about wine, but she's a complete novice when it comes to shochu. So she consults an expert. Let's get inside to have a look. Bonjour. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Bonjour. I'm Dora. My name is Kaori Hashi. Please call me Kaori. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Kaori Hashi is a shochu advisor and food coordinator, a true shochu professional. Just the person to help Dora. See all those bottles along the wall? They are all shochu and awamori. All these bottles are mm. shochu bottles? Hi. And awamori. So it is. How many bottles here? Miyakushuri. Miyakushuri. Two, mm. 200. That's so right. Shochu has two basic categories. Honkaku shochu and awamori make up one. White liquor is the other. White liquor is flavorless and odorless, and used mainly in mixed drinks. In contrast, Honkaku shochu and awamori are made according to long-established traditions. These drinks retain the flavor and aroma of their raw ingredients. Let's learn how to appreciate the authentic appeal of Honkaku shochu and awamori. Dora 
When people think of distilled spirits, whiskey comes to mind. Whiskey is made from barley, and vodka is made from potatoes. Both are ingredient specific spirits. But Honkaku shochu can be made from several possible ingredients. Let's try some. Good idea. Let's drink. Aishi has chosen four types of shochu, each made from a different ingredient. First up is Imo shochu, which is made from sweet potatoes. Very pure. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, very good. Very good? Mmm. Very, very good. How does it taste? Very powerful, but at the same mm -hmm. time very elegant. And it goes in the mouth everywhere. Not too strong, not too weak. Very, for me, perfect. With imo shochu, you can really taste the sweetness. It's powerful but mellow, a very straightforward flavor. Next is mugi shochu, which is made from barley. Mm, different. Mm. I like very much the, the flavor, the mm. smell. Very complex. Do you notice a savory fragrance? with caramel overtones? Yes. That touch of sweetness is a hallmark of Mugi Shochu. Now for Kome Shochu, which is made from rice. Not so complex, more, more simple mm. to smell. Mm. Very nice, very nice, but uh, for me it's more like uh, sake. Mm, like Japanese sake. Kume shochu is made from rice, so it resembles sake in some respects. It's elegant and simple, so it suits Japanese cuisine very well. Finally, awamori, which is made from Thai rice. Mm. Awamori is also made from rice, but the method of mashing is completely different. Awamori that has been allowed to mature for three years, we call kusu. That maturation process gives it a very mild profile. It's a beverage with a lot of history. Yeah, I was wondering uh, what degree, what level of alcohol is the shochu? Typically, it's 25%. The imo, mugi, and kome shochu you've tasted are all 25%. The awamori, though, is 30%. The four were quite different, don't you think? Completely different. It's true that it looks the same when you see it. It looks even like water, in fact. But when you drink and when you smell, it's completely mm. different. And a lot of different characters and mm. personality Hi. and very interesting. What's the best way to drink shochu and awamori? Shochu is very fresh and uh, for summer it's Fresh is very good, yeah, with ice. Here are the typical ways of drinking shochu and awamori. First, on the rocks. Shochu poured over ice cubes. The sweetness and character of shochu's raw ingredients just as they are. Mizuwari is the most popular way to drink shochu. You can take your shochu exactly as strong as you like and diluting with cold water doesn't diminish the flavor. To prepare a shochu drink Oyuwari style, pour in the warm water first. Shochu has a higher specific gravity, so this way it'll mix more naturally. The result is an aromatic and mellow drink. Use water heated to 70 degrees Celsius for optimal flavor. You can also drink shochu warm and straight, or with soda water. Part of the appeal of shochu and awamori is the number of ways you can enjoy them.
The heartland of Shochu is the Kyushu region of southwestern Japan. Kyushu has a warm climate suited to growing sweet potatoes, barley, rice, and other crops that are used to make shochu. Imo shochu from Kagoshima Prefecture is one of the most widely consumed kinds of shochu in Japan. Dora has decided to go to Kagoshima in person. I'm now in Kyushu. I arrived at Kagoshima Airport and look around. Everywhere, shochu signs. Here seems to be shochu's homeland, I think. And now I'm very happy to study more about shochu and to know more about shochu the way it's made. Let's go together. Dora pays a visit to an emo shochu distillery. Hello. Hello. Could you show me inside? Yes, of course. Dora is met by a toji, a shochu making expert responsible for everything from ingredient selection to completion of the drink. The toji leads Dora to a set of imposing doors. Koji Muro. Here is a very important secret place, I think. Usually, only distillery employees are allowed beyond these doors. And in the old days, women were prohibited entirely. It was feared the scent of their makeup would linger inside. Wow. <gasps> <gasps> wow. Look at that. <gasps> Oof. It's very impressive. This is the koji room where we culture the koji mold. This is the koji itself. Koji. What is koji exactly? Koji mold converts the starch of the ingredients into sugar. We couldn't ferment the alcohol without it. Using koji mold this way is unique to Japanese culture. It's used to make miso, soy sauce. Koji mold is essential to Japan's traditional fermented foods and drinks. Three types of koji are used in shochu making. White koji produces a shochu that expresses the raw ingredients in a mild and balanced way. Black koji amplifies the flavor of the raw ingredients to create a shochu with deep flavor. Yellow koji is also used in brewing sake. It produces shochu that is fruity and elegant. Now let's watch how shochu is typically made. The first step in preparing koji is to wash and steam the rice. After steaming, koji mold spores are mixed with the rice. The mixture is allowed to rest for two days at a fixed temperature, so the mold can grow on the rice and form the koji itself. Water and yeast are added to the koji mold rice. This mixture is fermented for a week under strict temperature regulation to create the primary mash. The raw ingredients are then added to the primary mash. For emo shochu, sweet potatoes are added. For mugi shochu, barley. For kome shochu, rice. As these ingredients are fermented into alcohol, the secondary mash is produced. After about 10 days of fermenting, the secondary mash is ready to be distilled. Alcohol vapor is cooled and collected in the still. The result is unrefined shochu. Oh, oof, ah yes. That's strong. That's more like drinking a strong vodka or tequila. That's very strong. This is 60 degree? Look That's correct. Yeah, yeah. But it's very strong, very, you feel the alcohol, but you also feel the smell and the nice flavor of the emo, of the satsuma emo, very much. The unrefined shochu is then casked for one to three months to stabilize its properties. 
After casking, water is added to dilute the alcohol to the desired percentage. The use of high quality, soft Japanese water ensures that none of the flavor is lost. After stringent quality checks, the shochu is bottled and labeled for shipment. I was very surprised by the importance of koji in the shochu making. And now that I know so much about shochu, I want to learn more about shochu culture. How do people in the heartland of shochu drink it? Dora visits a restaurant serving Kagoshima cuisine. Hello, good evening. Konbawa. <laughs> nice to meet you. Mm. Here. So I think many people drink shochu. How do they drink shochu here? Oyuwari style. Why oyuwari? Kagoshima cuisine tends to be sweet and richly flavored. So shochu diluted in hot water goes perfectly with it. Now Dora asks if she can join some local people. What did they come by? Come by! Hi, come by! Hey. Come by. Come by. Dora's new friends recommend the Satsuma Age. It's a Kagoshima fish paste delicacy fried in oil. And it's eaten with Kagoshima soy sauce, which is sweeter than ordinary soy sauce. Now I, I discovered the secret of Kagoshima's cuisine. In fact, it's here. It's this sweet soya sauce. And this sweet soya sauce matches perfectly with the imo shochu. Now I understand. Okano no mimo noa no manai. I've learned a lot about shochu here in Kagoshima. And I could see how imo shochu is really part of the local culture. So now, I want to know more about the different ways to enjoy this great drink, shochu, back in Tokyo. Imo shochu from Kagoshima Prefecture is one example of shochu that reflects its place of origin. Other examples include Mugi Shochu from Nagasaki and Oita prefectures. Kokuto Shochu from the Amami Islands. Soba Shochu from Miyazaki and Nagano prefectures. And various kinds of shochu from the Izu Islands. There are even certain shochu brands in Kyushu which are internationally protected as geographical indications by the WTO. Just like Scotch whiskey and Bordeaux wine are tied to specific places. Here are the four types of Kyushu shochu that have geographical indications. Satsuma shochu from Kagoshima Prefecture. Satsuma is blessed with warm weather and volcanic highland soil, ideal for growing sweet potatoes. The shochu made here reflects these local sweet potatoes. Kuma shochu from Kumamoto Prefecture. The Hitoyoshi Basin of the Kuma District has ideal rice growing conditions and abundant high quality groundwater. These contribute to an elegant, crisp shochu.
Iki shochu comes from the Iki Islands in Nagasaki Prefecture, which is also where Mugi shochu was born. A unique method of Mugi shochu making uses barley and rice in a two to one ratio to create a shochu with the sweetness of rice and fragrant appeal of barley. Last, Awamori. At the southern extreme of the Kyushu region is Okinawa. This is where Awamori is made. Awamori is Japan's oldest distilled beverage. Okinawa is said to be the place where distillation began in Japan. Awamori is made using a slightly different process. The raw ingredient is not Japanese rice, but Thai rice, which is fermented with black koji mold to create the mash. With shochu, this would be the primary mash, and the main raw ingredient would be added to create a secondary mash. But with awamori, no further raw materials are added, and the primary mash itself is distilled. One great appeal of awamori is that it gets better with age. The longer it is casked, the more the spirit's aroma and flavor will mellow. Awamori is also exceptionally well-matched to Okinawan cuisine and an essential part of Okinawa's food culture. Awamori is an alcoholic beverage with a truly unique history. It is said that shochu has positive effects on the body circulation. Studies show that shochu contains many urokinase boosting compounds that break down unwanted clots in blood vessels. According to Professor Hiroyuki Sumi, shochu has a stronger effect than other liquors. Because sugars and impurities in shochu are eliminated by distilling, it is low calorie and less likely to produce a hangover which has boosted its popularity among women as a healthy spirits. Shochu and awamori are a rare breed, distilled spirits that can truly be paired with food. Shochu advisor Kaori Haishi has prepared some pairings for Dora. Mm. Looks good. I'm quite familiar with all these dishes, in fact. Shochu and awamori not only go well with Japanese cuisine, but also Chinese, Italian, and all kinds of foods. Mm. This is teriyaki pork. Haishi has paired it with an emo shochu served oyuwari style. Very sweet, mm. very sweet mm. pork taste. Mm. It matches perfectly the sweet potato taste of the imo shochu. Yes. Imo shochu has a distinct sweetness, so it matches very well with the sweet sauce like teriyaki. And the oyuwari style enhances the sweet aroma so it goes particularly well with teriyaki sauce. Now for a marinated whitefish. It is paired with kome shochu, served mizuwari style. Let's taste. This time, this combination is very simple and very elegant yes. at the same time. Kome shochu has such a simple flavor and the overtones of the rice really come through. So whether it's a marinade like this or an Italian dish like a seafood pasta, vongole and so on, kome shochu complements it well. Next up are fried vegetables with balsamic vinegar. They are paired with mugi shochu on the rocks. Very crispy, mm. tasty and crispy. Yes. Let's see this time. 
Oh, what a nice <laughs> aroma. Mmm, only the aroma is a lot of toast. Yes, very toast. Mmm, very tasty in the mm. mouth. Mugi shochu has this great savory aroma and a sweet flavor. These fried vegetables are crunchy, and the shochu harmonizes with that crunch in the mouth. That's the sort of thing I look for in a pairing. So this time is a harmonious mm. marriage. Next is shrimp with chili sauce. Haishi has paired it with awamori on the rocks. Spicy. Yes. Mm. Mm. It's perfect. Awamori is mm. very powerful. Yes. And a little bit vanilla, no yes. maybe? When you sip awamori after taking a bite of spicy food, it creates a mild feeling in your mouth. Then you eat a little more, then drink a little more, and back and forth. This one is a combination of opposites, mild awamori and spicy food. After a meal, Haishi recommends drinking shochu from a wine glass. A wine glass has a small opening and the glass is tall. This helps the aroma to blossom. So, if you want to heighten the impact of the flavor and aroma, use a wine glass. Please try it. Ah, very good idea, I think, to drink in a wine glass. Mm. Very full of aroma, and in the, I think it's thanks mm -hmm. to the glass, the mm -hmm. aroma come out in the mouth much in a much stronger way. Mm. Mm. Isn't it fun to pair different kinds of shochu with different dishes, and to select the way you want to drink it? Yes, I think so. I enjoy very much the marriage of shochu and food. Thank you very much for your nice idea. First, I didn't know what shochu was, but now, from the journey, I found out the complex and delicate world of shochu. By changing the way of drinking, the taste also changes, and that was really surprising for me. It can be drunk when eating, and that's the most different thing compared to other spirits. Now, you learned a lot about shochu. Please, try it at home. You love it. This program was made possible by Japan Sake and Shochu Makers Association.